let's say that you're a realtor and you want to put together a post on why you should use a realtor and you head to a stock image site and you grab a stock photo of a couple in front of a house holding a set of keys. We've all seen this stock photo a hundred times over by this point. And the problem with photos like that is that number one, they don't really paint a clear picture of who you are and how you serve your audience, what makes you different. The stock photos that are out there oftentimes are not the best or not the greatest unless you know how to search through them. Hi there and welcome back to another episode of In Mel's Mind and what's in Mel's mind to share today is how you can create an on-brand stock image gallery inside of Canva. So why do you even want an on-brand stock image gallery? It's important because when you can show up and share images that reflect who you are, who you want to serve, you start to attract people into your world naturally. And so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through a process that will help you create this on-brand stock image gallery and do it right inside of Canva. And the reason why we're doing it inside of Canva is because it's just easier. Now the caveat to this is if you are a free Canva user, there are going to be limitations. I think that by this point we know that Canva Pro has a lot more assets than the free version. That doesn't mean that this process won't work for you. It just means that you'll be limited in the results, in which case I do suggest that you go off of Canva and onto the free stock photo sites like Pexels.com, Unsplash.com, and KaboomPix.com for free stock photos that you can use in your marketing. So without further ado, let's jump on in and I'm going to walk you through step by step with all my tips and tricks on how to do this really easily and effortlessly. So here we are in Canva and what I've done is I've actually put together this free resource for you and essentially what it is is it's an image board that will give you a bird's eye view of all the photos that we're collecting categorized into different sections and don't worry I'm gonna explain all of this to you moving forward but if you want to grab this you can just head to the link below so the first thing that we want to do is head to the photos tab and if you don't see the photos tab you're gonna head up to this apps tab and type in photos and you'll see the photos app right here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to type in your brand style. If you don't know what that is, then please take my free quiz. We'll put the link under this video. You'll get an idea of what your aesthetic is. So once you have your brand aesthetic, you've taken the quiz, you know your brand aesthetic. If you know your brand aesthetic, then just forget about the quiz. What you're gonna do is in this box here, you're gonna type in your brand aesthetic. So let's say it's boho and we're just gonna click return and we're gonna see what comes up when I type in boho. So step number one, find a photo that you like and then click on the three dots. And when we click on the three dots, we can add this to a folder. You can also create subfolders. So stock photos can be your top level folder and then you can create folders for each one of your categories if you would like. All right, so once we've selected our photo, we're just gonna click on the folder and Canva's gonna ask us if we wanna add it. Yes, we do. Add it to your stock photos folder and then we are good to start the tricks. Now, to make things really easy on ourselves, we're gonna click on the three dots and with each photo, what you're gonna see is a photographer's name underneath the title of the photo. And so when you click on their name, you end up getting a whole bunch of similar photos that have the same vibe and it makes it easy for you to find more photos that you like with the same aesthetic. So this one's really cool for decor. I'm gonna pop that into the decor section. And then I'm gonna just look through and see if there's any more that I like. So when you find a photo you like, I forgot to save this one, so let's not forget to save them. You're gonna click on the three dots, add to folder, stock photos, we're good. This one is a good interior shot, so I'm gonna drop it here for interiors. And we're just gonna keep going and see if there's anything else we like. Once we're done, trick number two is to again, head to the three dots, and this time, we're gonna look at the keywords that Canva uses to describe that particular image. So in this case, they're using indoors, room, bohemian, chic, comfortable, interesting. So if I click on one of these keywords, Canva's gonna bring up that style of photo. So use the keywords as inspiration for follow-up searches. The last trick that I have for you for creating an on-brand image gallery is to search by brand color. And I don't necessarily mean your dominant brand color. I think it's pretty easy. If you're a boho as your aesthetic, essentially it's going to be terracotta, it's going to be browns and neutrals. It's going to that's going to be the base of your color palette potentially. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy our hex code color and then we're going to head to the photos tab 
And here, under the filter button, we're gonna click on the color and I'm gonna pop my hex code in there and click apply. Now we haven't refined this search at all. And look, I can't use any of these, I'm not using any of these, but now I'm gonna type in my brand style, boho. And now we get a little bit better. And then I'm gonna get really specific and say boho living room. And now we see things that we might be able to use, things that we might like. Okay, so that's about all that I like there. And now one thing that I will say is that you can absolutely cheat with this. It doesn't have to be your exact brand color. So what I like to do is head back. If I'm having trouble finding it, I'll just head to the left, head to the right. Just move the cursor a little bit left, a little bit down, a little bit up and hit apply again. And you're going to get a whole bunch of new results. And as long as they feel like they're in line with your brand color, you can absolutely use them. Let's do my green brand color. I'm just going to guess I'm going to get approximately. And then we're gonna do interior. One of the search terms that I absolutely love if I'm having trouble, if I keep getting images that are too stock photo-y and we know what those ones are, then I tend to put the word aesthetic in my search. The reason for this is because then you tend to get more interesting photos, more interesting angles. And so when I click enter, you can see automatically a ton of these photos now look really good. And because I've put that filter on there, all of them match my brand color or the majority of them do. And now I can look for images that really reflect my brand. Okay, and when you're done, you're gonna have a board that looks like this, something that you can look at and see, is this cohesive? Does this look good? Does this match my brand? Is this the story that I wanna tell? And this bird's eye view helps you get a clear idea of not only what your brand aesthetic is, so it really helps you visualize it, like actually see it, but you can hand this off to other people on your team as well and say this is the kind of imagery we're looking for. It's really helpful, especially when you start to outsource things like graphic design or video editing or anything like that. You can actually give people this document and say this is what our aesthetic is. And you can clearly get an idea of what that is just by looking at these pictures. And don't worry about the orientation. I know that all of these are portrait orientation. Don't worry about that. Just slide it into the frame. You can always double click and move it around to position it however you want. We're just looking for a glimpse, a feel, a taste of what your photo story is, of what images you like. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope now you know how to build an on-brand image gallery. And here's the best part. When you're ready to find your photos, all you're gonna do is head to your projects tab, type in stock photos, and head to folders and your stock photo folder will be right here. And when you click on it, this is just my fake one. So the real one will have lots and lots of images. All of your images will be here. So when you're designing, you have all of your images right next to you without having to go hunting for them inside of the Canva photo library. And that is it, my friends. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of In Mel's Mind. If you liked this video, make sure to hit like. If you want to know about more videos like this coming up, just hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. I always love to hear from you. And until next time, happy designing. I'll speak to you soon.